dry and dream for a song that hits you so hard, filling you up. Hello, world. <laughs> ah, welcome to One Shot Revolver Relaunched. We're trying this newfangled Twitch live streaming thingy. So, um, my name is Damien. My pronouns are he, him. And before we start, it's customary to do well, acknowledgement of country. So, on behalf of the Australians in our group, I begin today by acknowledging the Wurundjeri people and the Nunca our people, traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today and pay my respect to their elders past and present. All right, today we have played 2400 on short notice because COVID decides to interrupt everyone's plans. Um, so, yes, this is kind of a relaunch for us because um, before we were just uploading videos to YouTube. So this is a relaunch. So I'll get everyone to introduce themselves. Uh, Lucky. Oh, call on me first. So lucky. Yeah. I think my name's Lucky. Uh, <laughs> uh, I go by he, him, for those curial. Uh, this will be my first time twitching, I believe. I think I've appeared in background streams, but such love. Um, yeah, no, look, I'm very excited to play. It's uh, I myself of coming out of COVID, so I'll probably be muting myself to have coughing fits. But other than that, you know, Jim Dandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks, Rachel. Uh, Erin. Hi, my name is Erin. Not coming out of COVID. That's all good. I have partaked in a Twitch stream, but just ignore that one. Nice to meet you all, she, her, for anyone curious. <laughs> you rock. Danielle. Hey, everybody. I'm Danielle, she, her. I have not Twitch streamed before, so this will be a first time, but I have gamed before considerably, so... <laughs> not the system. Be interesting. No, I have not twitched before either, so this is all new. Um, and we like to rotate our GMs here, but one of our favourite and the best going is Dan the Man. So, Dan, what are we playing today? Uh, hi, yes. Uh, tonight we're playing 2400 Resistors. Um, if you kind of follow indie uh, real playing games, you might have heard of tw the 2400 system before. Really rules light, really quick to resolve. Uh, and the resistors one is a is a gutter punk cyberpunk uh, setting where the our players will be pl uh, playing gangers, uh, working a job, and earning some cash. Sounds Woo! brilliant. Woo! Get that money. <laughs> Get them cash monies, yo. Yeah, yeah. cash. Moolah. I believe in this year everything's you know, uh, traded in Bitcoin. It's the only currency <laughs> remaining. Is that right? Oh, basically, yes. Each of your characters started with six Bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, I'll, six Bitcoins now. Okay, I'll retire sorry. right Spend now. Spend them Thanks. quick. <laughs> and it, it's, it's why to, call, to buy a pedal van in the system, it costs $10 million, apparently. I mean, inflation, oh. it makes sense. <laughs> um, All right, let's so so start. Yeah, so in, in the opening scene, you guys are in Melb City to avoid any uh, any copyright conflicts. Um, <laughs> it's basically uh, a bit of a war zone, a bit of combat area. A lot of uh, you're in a rundown apartment building uh, close to Dockland, where Docklands is now. Um, it's getting towards uh, late night, and uh, basically, when you look out from your uh, balcony, you can see these like big glowing domes under the water, which is where the, the rich and well off live, um, safe from the perils of the, the city area. Um, uh, going one by one, I'll get you guys to introduce your character, describe what you look like, and, and where you are and what you're doing in your room. Uh, I'll start with Giggles slash Damien. Uh, I am Giggles. I am Giggles. I'm a human with uh, cybernetic arms. I'm just uh, hanging out with my uh, my homing pigeons called uh, Frank and Alf, and we're just you know chilling, and I'm feeding feeding them a bit of bread. Excellent. 
And uh, so you're up on the roof of the building then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Lockie, where are you, fl- slash Flavor? Uh, uh, yes, I am playing Flavor. Uh, <laughs> he is a uh, previous fine dining experience droid going around and uh, giving cracked pepper to people. Uh, after being you know, broken, he was picked up and reprogrammed. Uh, now he's the face of the team, being the savvy. And uh, yeah, he looks uh, pretty clunky as a bot. Uh, I would imagine him, for those who play Destiny, as one of the background uh, droid bots out there, you know, clunky head and humanoid figure. And he's currently in the workshop uh, just kind of polishing himself up. Yeah, you know, he just looks a bit rusty and uh, wants to always look clean as <laughs> his base core programming was fine dining. So got to look good for the customers. Excellent. And uh, Danielle slash Sage, where, where are you and what are you doing? I'm in our main living area in a corner, kind of slatched against the wall. I've got a new color of head iron. So we're going to see what this comes out to. The bottle said it was green, but it doesn't look like it to me. I'm I'm a bit worried that it's coming out somewhere between yellow and like brown. So, so have you got the tin the tin foil on at the moment while this kind of cool? More kind of a plastic cap while it okay. develops, <laughs> <laughs> or possibly molts. And um, in the meantime, I'm busy learning a new language. It's come out of Korea, I think, but it's been on the dark net. People are messing about with it. Looks like it can do some interesting things with augmented reality, but mm-hmm. I'm not really sure on the syntax yet. So I'm just trying to get my head around it. Excellent. And uh, Aaron slash Hello Moto, where are you and what are you doing? Uh, I am in the cargo bay. At first, you can't see me. Uh, there's just all these different boxes. And then this tiny young girl walks out and is carrying like a massive heavy crate that's like 10 times the size of her and, you know, just holding it on a pinky. Um, (laughs) So you uh, this small little girl with like uh, very fake purple hair and she's got tattoos. If you have a closer look, it's just uh, like glass, a glass case with wiring that's, um, making out different tattoos and mm. yeah, she's called Hello Moto and all the z- uh, O's are zeros because she has zero empathy for y'all bitches. <laughs> Until she leaves you behind for dead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, uh, and this is my homing pigeon. <laughs> awesome. Now, um, Flavor, as the, the face of the group, you're the one that most contacts go to, to offer the work. Um, on your little smartphone vid phone system, you start getting an incoming call from a, uh, a, a Mr. Smith. Like the side of it, you project up in front of me through the uh, eye goggles that, hello, <laughs> you've reached flavor. How may I direct your call? Um, hello, my name is Mr. Smith. We have a job and we need a small group such as yours to t- take it out. Should be easy. We'll even provide transport. We just need you to extract an asset known as James Pritchard from a company from a company warehouse and uh, and taken to a second location until we, our people can come collect him. The job sounds easy enough, but I would be hesitant to accept without discussing terms. What would be the cash value of such a job? Uh, you will get three bitcoins each. <laughs> Three bitcoins is acceptable. Please allow me to converse with my following members. Please hold. <laughs> um, I will send out a, a text message to Sage Giggles and Hello Moto. You know, with deets of three bitcoin for pickup. What you say, y'all? Question mark. Followed by an eggplant. He's also, he's also, he also includes it to be careful a bit more of it with uh, a bit <laughs> of extra information. So travel would be by helicopter. Okay. Um, and basically you're, retrie- you're retrieving Richard Armitage. Uh, he's back in the, in, in the future. Uh, basically, if you're like low level but high skilled, you might s- sign it what's called an exclusivity contract, which is actually indentured servitude. And the only way that you can get out of these, um, out of these contracts is getting hired by another company and they kidnap you. 
Excellent. And Do you say his name is James Pritchard or Pritchard Armitage? Uh, sorry, his name is uh, James Pritchard. James Pritchard. Great. Um, cool. Love it. All right. Yeah. And so I question the group with uh, a you up. Well, um, I write back. Um, three Bitcoin seems a bit bit cheap. Um, but the helicopter ride, yeah, might sell it for me. With the price of fuel, I'm surprised they're not getting us to pay. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to respond with, do you even have an eggplant if you're an android? <laughs> oh, sorry. That was a typo. My bad. <laughs> I'm just going to respond with a thumbs up and a when question mark. Uh, beautiful. I will take off hold. Uh, sorry, when is this expected to take place? If your people could be ready, we can begin tomorrow at 1100 hours. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 1100 hours sent to you, Sage. You need better hold music. Mm. I spent a long time cosing such that feature. I am rather <laughs> proud of it, personally. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no care. <laughs> I think I think it's pretty impressive from a, a crack and pepper droid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised it just wasn't sound effects from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Salt and pepper is my favorite band. <laughs> <laughs> I really like half of it. <laughs> um, Can we call you Salt Bay? Yeah. <laughs> Do we accept the job or not? The right, yeah. Is yeah. Right the accept, accept. <laughs> jo job accepted with multiple eggplant emojis. Uh, uh, thank you, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> we accept the terms and conditions. Please. The eggplant emoji is excessive, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me you're not up? Question mark. Um, great. We shall see you at 1100 hours. Where would you like to meet? So he provides the information on a helipad, um, not too far away from your location, uh, and to meet there at 11 o'clock. And that's where your transport will be provided. He provides the address for a building in just outside of town. Um, you might, you could do some research on that after, after the fact. And then a third location way out on the boondocks. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for your candor. We look forward to doing business with you in the future. Um, hang up. And then, uh, well, that went well. And he'll go back to uh, sweeping the floor. <laughs> um, so yeah, so given that, uh, can I do a background search on these locations and build and businesses that might be associated with this James Pritchard? Um, yeah, sure. It would be a tech role. So you could ask Sage as your tech person to do some research or that you can sounds have a like yourself. a wise idea. I will utilize my team. Uh, Sage, please look into these following locations and I'll send yeah. out coordinates. Uh, the other thing otherwise is you could hit the streets and see what the streets know. I could. I will wait for Sage first. All right. Um, so Sage, if you could give me your first, the first roll of the evening, it's always a good, it's always going to be a good one. Uh, give me your, a tech roll, please. All right. Tech roll is a D10. Nice. And after all, head, I still developing, so why not? <laughs> that is an eight. Oh, nice. So just to, ex just to explain the system to, uh, to people outside, uh, the way the system works is um, you basically, depending on how good you are at skills, you'd roll anything from a D6, D8, D10, or D12 on relevant skills. If you get a one or a two, you fail. If you get a three or four, you get a qual qualified success. So something bad and something good happens. And a five or above, such as Sage just got with her eight, is a complete success. Um, so say you you kind of you hop onto the dark net, you input these addre the addresses that's included in this uh, PDF file, and you find out a bit of information. Uh, so namely that um, the company that you're uh, breaking into is called Cross Technologies. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's more. It's a. Uh, it's an AI development program that deals more in software than hardware, and. Um, 
And when you kind of do a cross-referencing with the time, you realize that, 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 that the time that you'd arrive on the helicopter is about when they get their supplies airlifted in. So this is the kind of place where it's like, we have the caviar flown in from Japan. So you'd be coming in at about that time when, when those kind of deliveries are made. Oh, that sounds like a potential cover for getting in. I'll explain to the rest of the team that, you know, AI research software rather than hardware, getting their deliveries in around 11. Uh, slight nag. Mm -hmm. We don't have a helicopter. Oh, you're giving, you're being given a helicopter by oh. your employer. He is providing the helicopter. Damn. I was kind of hoping to attach a fan on top of the van, but that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> it is always useful to have a backup plan. Let us keep that in mind. Or like enough I mean, homing I'll... pigeons to sit on top. I mean, I can't stop you. The dice can, but I can't. <laughs> Perhaps we could use Giggle's enhanced legs to create some kind of bike pedal system with a fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. My bad. Ignore me. Well, can I, can I jump, utilize I can the workshop? <laughs> Are we cool to utilize the workshop to set that up over the next 20, uh, 12 hours? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I... yeah. Um, did anybody want else want to do something? So you can still do your own tech rolls, even if you're not skilled in it. It will just be a D6, but it may tip them off that somebody's asking questions if you fail. So just kind of, there, there um, are consequences. Yes, I will not. I wouldn't mind doing some... Uh, street checks, uh, you yeah. know, ask some of my contacts about this Mr. Smith character. Probably a sure. fake name, but, uh, you know, if I'm willing to go out and figure out, it sounds like fun. All right, give me a, a savvy roll as you hit the streets and, and call some peeps. And that's just a classic D8. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Yes, yeah, that's sweet. right. I'm big on alliteration when I'm in this chat. <laughs> that's fair. Oh, natural one. <gasps> oh. <laughs> So, uh, basically, you just get shot down. Nobody, yes, it's obviously a fake name, you idiot. Why are you even wasting my time? Kind of uh, response to your questioning. Um, you just, you, you're getting, you get stonewalled, and um, yeah, you, a couple of people aren't happy with you for wasting Oh, their come time. on. You're breaking my balls. I need this information so bad. So bad. <laughs> And uh, I'm assuming I get kicked out pretty quickly. <laughs> yes. Excellent. I will uh, slink back to the uh, the hideout, really disheartened, which is difficult not having a heart. If only I had a heart. You have that play. You've got um, yeah, that song playing in the background when you come home. It's on the speaker. It's on the speakers. You just need to find you know, a lion and a straw man and a little girl with really weird shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, weird you girl? could be my lion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> with hair like that. Is it meant to be that color? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. So, uh, what color did it turn out? Well, yellow was, yellow was optimistic. What is happening? <laughs> Sorry, I keep on jumping around and I missed most of that. That's okay. It's, not behaving it's okay. Anymore. It was just random banter. Yes. Engaging fake <laughs> compliment. Right. Your hair looks great. Smile. <laughs> um, did anybody else want to do anything before heading to the helipad? Or are, you, are we going to skip some time here? Um, no, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yeah. Um. um yeah, I'm at that thing. I'm at that, okay. Let's. We're, we're good and skilled. I think we can just jump straight into this shit show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Um, so you guys pop into uh, Hello Moto's panel van. Um, oh yeah. Listening to some sweet tunes as you drive down to the to the original helipad. It's probably just like really anime vibes. So probably like some Demo Slayer intro music sort of thing. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to let um, my homing pigeons out to fly like with us just to, you know, make it an epic, you know, metal kind of scene. I, 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 just because this is a possibility in the cyberpunk world, are they trained to fly in slow motion on command? Oh yeah, of course. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get the slow motion flying, yeah. Yeah, cute travel montage. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. It's so like the Borderlands intro. Homing pigeons. If you let them out to fly with us, do they fly back to our hideout? <laughs> they just go back to his house, so they're really useless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lucky I know the sick. It's, it's, it's all for the aesthetic. Like, At least yeah. the other like pigeons old. will know where we went. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so guys are- there's something in that. If we attach a tracking device to each of the pigeons and let them out when we get there, they will know where we went. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, mm. <laughs> too point. late now, obviously. Yeah, too late now, but yeah. Um, so you guys get to the helipad. Um, no issues. Like, there's nothing suspicious. You get there. It's basically painted as the future equivalent of Amazon uh, deliveries. Um <laughs> There's no weapons or anything like that. It's just a, a standard delivery helicopter. Uh, giggles, I assume, as the the driver of the group, you hop in the cockpit? I'm hopping in the cockpit, man. All right. Um, um, yeah, can I just do a check over the helicopter itself to make sure that there's no, you know, there's no side hustle as they're trying to blow it up or something similar? Um, yeah. You know, maybe the job is actually to pick up James Picard and then blow up the thing. <laughs> uh, you can roll tech to do so. Ooh, classy. Um, can I actually give a help action to Sage? Is that doable? Yeah, you can ask Sage, hey, look, can you do this Sage. and I'll help you out. Sage, I need to protect this pretty face. Would you mind helping me look for a bomb? Sure. Do you expect a bomb to be in here? I do not trust any of our clients. I wasn't able to find anything on this, Mr. Smith. Anything could be possible. You yeah, know I mean, that it's... that's a fake name, right? You know that flavor. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> flavor, flavor is mine, just exploded. It is so obvious. <laughs> har, har, har. <laughs> I got a three checking for a bomb. Was that, right, the, so was that with flavor, the flavor? You roll, uh, you, you roll a D6. So you, oh, you I get to roll, roll it as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, sweet. So basically thought, when you help each other, you both roll and it takes the better option. So we've got, so far, you just need to beat a three. Uh, yeah, I got a two. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suck so, all this evening. <laughs> so the good news is that if you hadn't have asked for help, you would have failed and possibly broken the helicopter in your oh, um, oh. effort. To... <laughs> These wires look sus. <laughs> <laughs> but, but because you got, got, got help, you got a qualified success. Which I will say leads to you. You've you kind of you give the the, the helicopter once over. There's a couple of panels that you're suspicious of that you can't get into, but you're reasonably sure that it's bomb free. I trust you with my life, literally. Thank you, Sage. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> All All right, giggles. Let's burn some rubber. Do we burn rubber in a helicopter? I heard it in a movie. I hope not. <laughs> I really don't want to burn uh, rubber in a helicopter. Uh, yeah, flavor. It is a but... turn of phrase. Just drive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, getting... So the decidedly getting... non-rubber rotors start spinning up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going, to, I'm going to make sure the uh, homing pigeons aren't flying outside the helicopter as uh, <laughs> they're rather bloodily. <laughs> so I'll just, you know, yeah, just put them, put them down. I'll, I might have a little cage for them or something. Um, and I'm just going to put on my infrared goggles because it looks cool. Okay, and crank the tunes. Let me crank some tunes. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's it. Get down. Everyone's favorite music. <laughs> you know the tunes, Flavor. You know the tunes. Um, so you arrive, you, you fly over. No need for a roll. It's a very standard uh, situation. Um, you land on the building that you'd been given, Cross Technologies. Um, you land. There's like three different helipads there. Um, you land next to two very similar looking helicopters um, and they've all got people kind of coming out carrying boxes um, there's a pile of boxes near you that you guys can kind of grab and walk with nice um, before we get out of the thing 
I'd like to activate the sniff program and look through the cameras in the uh, area, see if I can yeah. see what the security situation is like inside. Awesome. So roll a um, your tech die, which is a D6, and then roll a, a help die, which is also a D6, Ooh. and take the better option. 2D6, I like mm -hmm. it. As a robot, you've, you've got a... I've rolled two sixes. <gasps> nice. <laughs> the guy giveth as well as taketh away. We're doing well. <laughs> Um, does it does it criticals in this, or is it just uh, good success? It's just it's just good success. Yep. Um, yeah. So basically, you you manage to get onto uh, the local remote um, camera close by. You need to roll like every time you go to a new camera. Yep. But for this one, you get a good guy's view. It looks nothing suspicious. This is kind of a normal everyday occurrence. The security guards kind of um, half heartedly checking uh, the boxes that are coming in, but. Since you guys have got delivery boxes that you've taken, that won't be an issue. And we believe that uh, this James Picard is somewhere in the building. Is that the concept? Yep. As you um, as you guys kind of land, again, Flavor, as the contact person, you get a little ping and you get a little um, target. Target is currently on the 10th floor. This is a 25-story building. Awesome. We've landed on the top or outside? Yep. On the rooftop. Cool. I don't believe in helipads being on the ground. They have to be on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect sense. All right. We need to look like we are busy. Hello, Moto. Could you please make us look busy? Gesturing towards these boxes to the side. <laughs> I will be your supervisor. I shall pick up some boxes. You are doing uh -huh. great. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick because... up a box. <laughs> Pick up, pick up boxes. Hello, Moto. I don't know if you feel like showing off and carrying like three crates at once with your giant monster yeah, arms. One box per finger. <laughs> <laughs> just nice. like hook them, like my fingers just extend out and hook them in. You know, very like girl shopping. Got to carry all the handbags at once. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, can is there anyone? Like there's other people here that are coming in and out of the building, yeah, doing deliveries. Yeah, I'd like so you're to, able to get the spoof ability and get some fake credentials for myself to make me Over look like a supervisor. Roll hacking. Is that again the two d six? Always for you. To, it's going to be the two d six. I yep. love it. Um, I rolled a three. Nice. So you. You do manage to get the ID of one of the people. Um, normally, when you do this, though, you you would try and get a um, like make it slightly different, so it's obvious it's a different person. Whereas when you do it this time, it's hard lock as that individual. So it, there's a chance when you use it to like swipe open the door, it's going to pick up that the same person is in two different spots. Yeah, okay. it's not as perfect as it would be normally. <laughs> It is not as perfect as it would be normally, but we shall try. Um, and I will swipe my fake key card through. Yeah. Is this a sort of thing where an override key would be useful? You need to. You would need to um, declare it beforehand because you don't. You just don't roll. It just succeeds if you spend an override key. Um, but it's okay. So it things. It works. You're you're inside the building. Um, most people kind of looking at their boxes, working out where they need to go. Uh, I assume you guys just immediately uh, take a service lift down to the 10th floor? Yep, let's go yep. for it. If, if we can. Yeah, um, yeah so you, you guys managed to come down, you swipe the key to once again um, get out of the service lift. There's a pause before it turns green, but it lets you exit. Okay, now let us try and find this James Percard. Does anyone have any method to track his whereabouts on this floor? Do we know what he uh, looks like? Yeah, part of your, your PDF package included his uh, likeness. Is, um, is it dark down here? How dark is it? It's, it's basically, it's, when you open it, when the doors open up, it opens up in the hallway, you take a few steps forward, and it opens up into every single open office plan uh, mm -hmm. nightmare that you guys have, oh, have God. possibly worked oh, in. Oh, no. Um, there's a few kind of closed off offices along the side, but for the most part, there's like a whole bunch of people um, just staring at computers, clack, 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 um, 
working, you presume, doing some form of programming? Okay. Okay, so there's there's plenty of light. I feel like uh, our savvy person should maybe try asking someone and failing that I can try to hack into one of these machines and see if there's a desk locator or something. I got this. Um, (laughs) (laughs) And he'll uh, straighten up and... uh start using his quiet components to look all cool and suave as he walks up to what appears to be the most senior management person here. Yep. Hello, sir. I am looking for a one, and I've lift up a fake clipboard that I'm holding. James Picard, is he in this vicinity? Roll savvy to see how smoothly you pull this off. (laughs) (laughs) A four. No, wait, Which is a, a three, sorry. Yeah, three. Still a qualified success. Um, so he kind of looks you up and down. Doesn't seem like your appearance doesn't trigger an alarm, but he also says, look, I've, I'm busy here. I don't have time for your nonsense. And You are breaking my heart and my balls. Please, <laughs> I just need a moment of your time. Sir, He's sir. Down the hall. <laughs> Alas, it didn't work. I turn around and give a sad thumbs up to my team at the standing of the elevator. Do you want me to break his balls? Ooh. <laughs> I uh, look over. Start to unload my over. Gatling gun. <laughs> no, no, hold off, please. Hang Let on. me try again. And I'll uh, go over to the uh, cubicle okay. office monkey. Can uh, I it... help this time? If you're willing, yeah, get in here. Excuse me, sir. Me and my lovely friend here are attempting to find a one, James Picard. Are you able to assist in this matter? <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, roll that sweet D6. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if one of you is helping, you roll a D6 and you oh, roll your D8. D8. Oh, I love it. Oh, eight. So, I got a five. Cool. Um, yeah, so they kind of look between the two of you. They're a bit confused as to why you're both asking, but eh, it's they don't get paid to ask questions. Uh, so they indicate that, it, like, three doors down, one to the left on one of those closed offices is, is his. Um, they make the comment that he's been a bit sketchy lately, like he's not been his normal kind of jovial self. However, um, this is information that we're getting from this office pleb. Random co-worker. Yeah, random co-worker, yeah. Yeah. Nice. He's, he's, he's kind of looking for excuse to slack, slack off for a minute and uh, speaking with you guys provides that. That is why we're here. We figured with the two of us, we will seem more intimidating. Isn't that right, Miss Smith? <laughs> Winks up, his <laughs> eye turns off. <laughs> Less intimidating and more accurate. We have brought other members to make sure that he does not run. Gesturing back to the uh, corridor. Please, my team, come over so we may talk calmly to this James Picard. (laughs) And then uh, we'll uh, thank you for your time. We hope to see you at the Christmas party. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) we'll walk down the corridor and make the turn and three lefts or whatever he said yep. yeah <laughs> yeah so you, you go into the office uh so james uh pritchard is a uh, really skinny guy he's got like a really um like it's a nice suit and it looks like it's been tailored but he's not put it on the way that you would a nice tailored suit like it's his tie is half hanging he's a bit kind of hair's been his hands been running through his hair he's looking a bit nervous and sweaty so, are, are, are you guys here for me it depends. Are you James Picard? <laughs> yes, yes. We need to get out. We need to get out of here. They're they suspect that I'm wanting to leave. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, hello Moto. You are going to cause a scene. That wasn't that big a reveal, I thought. Okay. No, sorry, the dog barked and it scared me. <laughs> Well, plot twist us. Plot twist. <laughs> plot twist. A dog shows up. <laughs> wow, your pigeons are sounding rather dog like. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Um, they. Who is, who is they? 
James. Trust Technologies, they they want to keep me here to keep working on their project. I am hey. starting to not like your can-do attitude there, James. Maybe we have to force you out of this office and show you some respect. What's the project? I, that's not the deal. <laughs> it does not matter. Hello, Moto. Giggles. Grab him. Let us he make wants, a he, scene. So he wants to go with you. He's I'm just aware. nervous that... We right. want to make a scene so that as to not confuse other people, let us follow the lie we have created. He is being a hostile member of the team. <laughs> you guys, reach out and grab I'm him. Just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Oh my god, <laughs> flavor! And I'm gonna get my pistol and um, just put it in his back and just walk him. I turn up my volume. Oh man, you tell me to grab him. I'll fucking put him in a headlock. <laughs> but I'm, I have a quick I'm short. look around <laughs> and see if um, this place has cameras. Uh, Are we being filmed right now? So oh, is this you a prank show? Uh, so you can do a, I'll call it a. I'll call it a tech roll to see camera if there's cameras. Okay. Nine. Yep. Nice. So you've you got a little sensor device you pull out to get out the RFIDs, um, and you manage to locate that there are a couple of cameras in this room. There's like a couple of hidden ones, like ones like in a, uh, like a, a wall vent staring down at him, and it's definitely picked up on you guys. Okay, you are. We, you we need to move this along. Uh, we're being surveilled right now. I can get rid of the footage, but that's not going to help if there are guards coming. Got it. I shall make a scene. I turn up the volume. <laughs> you are making a scene. Lethal force has been approved. <laughs> Cracked pepper, and I will to uh, jab him with my uh, <laughs> stun gun in the side. Uh, roll gr grit, I guess, to, as a fighting roll. Is that a as D6 you, or is that something As else? you stun this compliant person. Yep, that's the spirit. Ah, <laughs> uh, one. <laughs> so, oh, oh, not good. You miss and hit Hello Moto as they are currently holding on to... Uh, now uh, you are uh, both I'm making a scene. My bad. Apologize from I me. I <laughs> will crumple you to dust. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, at this point... Evacuate engaged. <laughs> at this point, the shutters come down in the room. Uh, so the room is, is in darkness and a red light starts swirling and an alarm starts sounding. Great. Love it. Oh, oh, Flavor, you've done it again, man. Third time this week. Sometimes <laughs> I wonder why I am the face. <laughs> okay. Every day I wonder that. I'm going to run my alarm program to trigger every other alarm in the vicinity as well. <gasps> oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Seven. Nice. Yeah, everything. It just goes crazy. So the advantage of that is they knew you were on the 410th floor. They now think that they don't, they can't pinpoint your location temporarily because every kind of location is going off. Um, does anyone have anything they would like to do? Or can I try? I was thinking of trying to generate, can I, how many times can I use the spoof ability? Is it once per session or is it a, uh... um, well, it's, it's one, so you can only have one going at a time. But you've yeah. got security guards on their way, so I'd recommend. Yeah, because if I can leaving. do it, I'd like to spoof up the uh, that what's it called general manager who walked away from me before. If I could mm -hmm. try and grab his credentials to see whether his will give me access to the lift in case the current one doesn't. So as soon as you stick your head out of the office that you're in, all the drones have left. Like they've immediately evac. There's an evacuation nice. procedure. They don't want to get shot, Great. so they are leaving before the security guards turn up. Awesome. So I'm not able to... We could follow it. them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, blend blend in. <laughs> Flavor, blend in. <laughs> Can be done. 
I am still running away from Hello Moto and her death threats. <laughs> you don't need to make so, me pretend to run. So, so Hello Moto, temporarily you've lost the Iron Fist ability due to this taste. <gasps> no! Uh, you're still able to carry, you're still like bulky, like your side are still strong enough to be able to carry um, oh my to God, carry James, so but you are not as strong as you would be normally. How'd I lose it? From my stun gun. So the the taser oh. starts slipping knocked out. Your, Man, um, I could have punched through a wall for this. <laughs> Damn it. It was actually the one ability. I was like, yeah, no, this is handy. <laughs> It'll come back later. It'll come, it's just a temporary kind of Oh, short. man. Flavor. Oh, it's so right. good. You, got taste in the oven. you got taste in the junk. I'm going to grab a pencil and snap it. <laughs> <laughs> You are so um, strong. All right. So uh, if you guys head down the hallway, you've got two choices. Stairs or lift. Oh, um, leg day. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Out the fire door down the stairs. Down? Are you going to take in the helicopter? Uh, the helicopter's waiting uh, for you, and you, the third location being given is out in the boondocks. So up, yeah. So helicopter. Yeah. We really should use the stairs in that case because they'll be watching for lifts going up. Yeah. Uh, yes. Perhaps we should give Giggles the chump, gesturing towards James. Uh, James. Maybe uh, you could leap up the stairs in single bounds, get us yeah. running. Yes. Can I, can I grab James and do leaping bounds to get us up there quicker? So you're not really strong enough, though, to be able to do that. Like, it'll work for you, but... It would be no different you kind of struggling to carry him but jumping high compared to Hello Moto just one-arming him and running. How much do we need, James? Because theoretically, if it's a spiral staircase, I can just chuck him yeah. up and hopefully he grabs. Do we need James he's, alive? He's literally oh. the point of this. <laughs> <laughs> he's the whole reason you're there. Well, then I'm just going to I'm going to check the PDF. Yes, it he's says they want him the, alive. <laughs> Out of oh, everyone in the room, in building at the moment, he is the least disposable to you. <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. Let's, let's just start I'm running up the stairs. I will, so, you start, I will, so you start I'll running run up ahead, the stairs. though. I'll run ahead yep. with my um, super jumpy ability, which is spring heel. And just to, if there's any danger or whatever, I can warn everyone on get or the doors open. Warm up the helicopter. Can, or at least warm up the helicopter. Yeah, good thinking, Flavor. Yep. Can I get a hustle roll from everyone? If you've Ugh. got cyber legs, then that will be boosted to the next die size. Now, is this so, a situation we can use the group uh, activities where we say, hey, can I do something and help someone and it works? Or is it just mm -hmm. everyone gets the individuals? It would be <gasps> you, it, like you'd be like helping somebody at, to your own detriment, basically. Okay. All right. So just 1d6, yeah. is that how it works for this? Um, but yeah. because you're a robot, you get to roll a D8 because you've oh, got I cyber legs. It. Oh, hustle. And I've got what D10. What if I'm D10. happy with my D10. D6 roll? <laughs> um, keep you keep can it. ask me I... nicely to let you re-roll, but I'm not known as a merciful god. <laughs> uh, I got a... Five for hustle. Oh, three. I got a right. two and a D10. Freaking hell. Oh, no. I got a five and a D6. <laughs> Well, five is a success. What are you complaining Yay. about? Oh, no, I that's didn't tricks. roll a D8. So oh. that's what I was <laughs> complaining about. Wrong dice. So um, I got too excited and tripped. <laughs> no, no, the opposite. You jumped, mis-aimed, mis and slammed your head against the roof of the, like, spiral staircase Ooh. and come whomping down. Um, <laughs> Landing on top of Lockie's failure as well with his thing. I got a and three. Oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I land in front of him and just like look at his bruised and battered head. Like this is why you can't be the face. <laughs> so you guys managed to get up a few uh, stories. So you're at, you're up at level uh, twenty. You need to get up to twenty five. When oh, two God. guards up top and two guards below come into the stairwell. Oh um, no. You're going Shoot to need him. to fight your way out. Nice. Uh, cool. So, cool. Giggles, you go first. What What do you do? Okay. Just let me think. Can I... So there's two ahead of me and two behind the group. That's right. Can I do a spring heel to bum rush the two below, below and try to... Yeah, 
grab him and throw, throw, push him down. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll say yes, but I'm going to drop your die size um, okay. to do that. Uh, hustle, is it? Yep. So still roll hustle as it's, it's movement, and you're trying to like push them, you know, yeah. off the edge of the stairs or what have you. Yeah. Oh, six. Nice. So you managed to to get one of the blur ones over the railing, and he's da- and he falls down. Yeah. Before they are able to react. Uh, yes. Sage, what are you? You've got a, you've got your combat robot that you can empower, or you can take yeah. another action. No, I I think my um, little security droid is going to go and try to zap or does it shoot? Does it tase? Absolutely. Whatever it does. It's going to do it. It's going to do it to one of the ones above us to Ooh, try to roll. get a, a space for us to get through. Yep. Roll tech. All right. Mm, that's a one. Um, <laughs> that's not good. It's it, so it's still booting up. You forgot to turn it on where before uh. you came into the building. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's currently got the little blue screen of the field on it. You need like, Oh fuck, I need to log in. <laughs> Updating These things are always running, right? <laughs> you lose do your you, action. Why do you need to boot it up? Yeah. Um, hello, Moto. What are you doing? Um, if possible, oh, I would, I, I, just to jump in, I would like to use my action to try and repair like a uh, her gauntlet you know the iron fist is that a thing that i can do to assist with no all right cool. well, not in the few seconds that you guys have no. all right cool cool go ahead you can go to hello uh i will bring out my swiss arm and shoot the sun all right so you can either so you can you roll grit either way you can either take a better die to attack one of them or you could take a worse die to attack two of them as you spray your gun like- Dice would I be looking at? Is it, what's your grit normally? Uh, uh, D8. Yeah. So you can either take a D10 to just go for one or a D6 to go for both. D6. With your rifle. All right. Big money's hopefully whammies. Hey. <laughs> Two? <laughs> <laughs> so Shit. that's bad. That's bad for you. They, um, oh. you kind of... <laughs> So you whip up, your arm transforms into an assault rifle. You light up, you got the perfect shot, but then they unleash hell on you and your armored vest gets torn to shreds. Oh, no. Shot well. no. up. It's okay. You've still got, like, multiple layers of armor, but um, you're down one. Oh, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> uh, Flavor, what are you wanting to do? Um, yeah, I'll run up next to Heller. Uh, hello, Moto, and try and crack pepper them with my stun gun. Crack mm-hmm. pepper, and then activate it and give a good old jolt. Is that a D8 or a D6? It's a D. It's a grit. So whatever your grit roll is. I'm assuming that's a D6. This is... By default, it would be a D6. Yeah, sweet. A five. Nice. Oh, nice. So. Uh, you managed to light up your shot, and while they're kind of focusing on shooting out Hello Moto, that you managed to tease, get it, like the teaser dart right into one's uh, throat, and it goes down. I guess I brought the flavor. Aha, aha. <laughs> don't forget, you guys can roll to help each other. So rather than oh, like, okay. you can take one action, you can both roll grit at the same time to go for the same target. Don't forget, you can do that. I didn't. If you're. So that we can do that without sacrificing our own action, is that right? Uh, well, no. So it's part of your action. So you're at, so for example, uh, giggles. You could say, okay, I'm going to time my shot with hello motos. We'll both roll grit and go for the same target, and that way you both roll and we take the better roll between the two of you. But it means that you're less Amazing. likely to get shot back as you use teamwork. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so gotcha. incidentally, it is your turn though, Google. So you can either wait oh. to see what someone else does to do to help, or you can take your own action. Um. Can I? Uh, what what have you got, Moto, in terms of smacking people? Uh, my arm isn't working. Oh. Uh, It'll so still I've... hurt people. Like it's still a metal arm. It's just oh, not yeah. super powered. I kind of just got the gun. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I can take my homing pigeons and like throw them at one of them to kind of. 
you know, so they go, so they go, ah, and it gives them like an advantage to like moto to shoot them. <laughs> you can try. I'd still say it's grit, and I'd say rather than throwing one of your pets, it might just be a bit of concrete or something. Or you, <laughs> if you've got a pistol, you can shoot your pistol. Um, but it'll still be a grit roll. Can I throw my pets anyway, just because it's funny? Sure. <laughs> if I so, wanted to use a grit uh, ability too, would I mention that now and say? Yeah, so the three of you can roll it, but it will still only be like the one action. It'll be the one success, effectively. Yeah. Now your giggles at the bottom. You're going for the ones at the bottom of the stairs anyway. Yeah. 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 So it's. I don't think that will work with you know where I'm because Moto, are you going for the top ones as well? Yes. Yeah. So oh, okay, so the top ones. Okay. You and oh, I are sorry. at the top. So I might just think you know flavor wise. It's a bit silly for me to help giggles. So who's co- who's closest to the bottom then? Is that Sage? So you're at the you're at the bottom. Sage is, Sage Flavor and Hello are in the middle, and there's and there's one guy at the top and one guy at the bottom with next to you. All right. Well, I've got my super super leapy thing, so I should be able to like turn around mm-hmm. and jump up, and then throw my pigeons at the one of the ones at, at up top, and then Moto can like. Shoot them. Right. Can you so, jump I'll on get, the head? So I'm going to get giggles. You're going to roll hustle. And yeah. Moto, if you could roll uh, grit. And I'll just I, I, I want to change my action if possible. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, uh, I want to, uh, th- you know, try and threaten the guy. I want to grab the gun off this guy that I've just stunned mm-hmm. and Ooh. threaten the guy to tell them to that we've uh, left the building. So this guy's about to get hustled. He's about to get shot this at guy- and you're going to try and intimidate him. This is a different. I thought Giggles was going for the one downstairs. You're all going for the one downstairs. I'll turn around. All right, right, never mind. I'm just going to shoot him. Cool. So (laughs) all of you roll grit. Six. Eight. Six. Oh, wait. He's dead. dead. So all three of you, like, managed to light up your shots and get him. There's still the one guy downstairs. Um, Sage, if you want to roll tech to try and finish him up with your bot or do something else yeah sure i mean my bot is finally booted up i hope so <laughs> i hope so too nine. Ooh, nice. nice um i'll say because it, it makes more sense your, your, your security <laughs> bot actually hovers and it's like a little ball kind of star warsy yeah. droid thing droid thing um that it makes sense. pulls out a little submachine gun and then and finishes <laughs> off the security guard Excellent. the way is now clear to leave the, the, the stairwell and run up Right, team. Let's hustle. Do we still have James Picard? Yeah, he's on uh, my I'm backpack. Assuming, I'm assuming Hello yeah. Moto dropped him backpack. and is now gingerly <laughs> picking him up. Oh, I mean, I just attached him as a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just like, even though he's a grown ass man and I'm a tiny little girl, I'm just like, you know, grabbed my hoodie. I just like the idea that, that <laughs> like, because you're so little and he's a big guy and they're just, they're, they're only shooting you. Like, so, you know, you've just got this full window and all around you is body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I look like this terrifying creature because I've got, like, at, you know, uh, four extra arms. <laughs> okay, is that so allowed, beautiful DM? <laughs> it, I will allow it. I'll also give you your iron fist capabilities back your, oh, your yeah. arms have rebooted uh, during the fight and you now get your iron fist it you is guys about time through. um so you guys run upstairs i imagine speaking <laughs> of Moto, she punches the door off its hinges yeah! it's the hulk sma- moto smash <laughs> moto smash <laughs> Uh, while, we're running up this, moto smash. <laughs> while we're running um, up the stairs, I'll be trying to comfort James. Like, so I'm following Hello Moto behind. Like, you are okay. You are being saved. Calm down. Stop crying. <laughs> you guys all load up into the helicopter. Um, James is practically catatonic at this stage because this is oh, not the way he thought it would be. I feel really bad for James. <laughs> um, Giggles, I can I assume you hop in the, co- in the cockpit. Get in there. Crank the yep. tunes. Uh, you crank the tunes. You take you you you, wrote, you, you take off, and um, and start flying towards the uh, the out of town location. Uh, it is a good, shame we I... didn't set off explosions because that would look so cool in the background <laughs> right now. <laughs> look at only back if at the we, building. <laughs> only if we didn't look at them. I don't know. The idea of having a helicopter <laughs> flying away from an exploding building just fills me with something. 
what's what's that thing that I have? Um, oh, flash. Can I overload? <laughs> well, technically, the there's a lot of wand a, a devices. A handheld or wand device. There aren't enough handheld or wand devices to take down a building. Damn it. In fairness, Hello Moto could be holding a helicopter. <laughs> you could you could do that scene from Civil War, yes. Um, could I get a hustle roll from Giggles? Don't fuck up. I'm good at hustling. I'm good at hustling. Do you want help? Oh, I got a nine. Nice. You I didn't need the help. But as you start as you start heading towards the the next location, you um, looking down at your systems, you pick up that there's two helicopters taking off from an, an adjacent building rooftop. Um, as part of that success, you pick up that these are attack helicopters. These are security helicopters that will be armed. Oh, You've got, awesome! Throw me at the a... helicopter so then I oh, can shit. grab it and blow it up. <laughs> oh shit, I... guys! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Code, I could try ceasefiring them. Brown. Go for it. So you've got a round to prepare before they start attacking. Um, what's You're going to try and do ceasefire? Yeah, that All should right. work on them. I don't think we have any. It will work on one. Okay. It is, what's the current contents apart from people inside this helicopter? Is there a crate or some kind of heavy box or something similar? Uh, well, there's Hello Moto and their various weapons. And you. Okay, okay. Um, could... We deliver the cargo. I, what, okay, my suggestion might be we could try and rip off one of those panels that we were stuck on pretty far before, and I line it up, and Hello Moto punches it to send it flying <laughs> towards the other helicopter. Yeah, that's a superhero move. Yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah. Hello Moto <laughs> has a rifle. <laughs> she also has an iron fist, though. <laughs> They can punch that through walls. In the, I, I can have punch plans. James across. I have plans <laughs> for the, the Iron Fist. Don't you worry. It'll happen. Uh, Sage, how do you go with your hacking roll, your tech roll, to Nine. Nice. Oh, oh so good much. roll today. Where? So you managed to pacify one of the helicopters. and Because you're, you're flying away, you're going to be out of range to maintain that. Um, so it'll better, it slows it down enough that if you manage to lose this other one, it won't join the fight. Now, are these manned helicopters or are they automatic attack helicopters? They're, they're manned helicopters. Mm. I was thinking the same thing. I could like I could <laughs> generate a fake ID for this helicopter. Um, <laughs> uh, Flavor, what are you doing? That's a, an excellent question. Um, this is where I'm near useless, being uh, pure distance. Um, I still have the gun, I'm assuming, from yeah. the guard that I took stuff from. I'm going to take a random pot shot at the driver of the other helicopter. All right. Are you going to combine that with Hello Moto so you both Yeah, help let's each do that. Other? Yeah, yeah. That's, that right. Sounds good. Assuming you're taking a pot shot too, Moto? Yeah, yep. that sounds good. Uh, roll, both of you roll grit. A six... Oh, suck on that. A nine. Um, oh, such good rolls today. <laughs> Go I rolled a four. So, yeah, right. it's good. So, it's, yeah, so we take the, so so in this bad. case, we take the highest one. Yep. Um, so, Flavor, you just kind of like, you're leaning at one window, just taking pod shots wildly. Um, <laughs> you're not Stay sure, back. but you, but it's highly unlikely you manage to hit, whereas Hello Moto <laughs> manages to line up. Uh, the perfect rifle shot and manages to get the engine. It's in not my the same. Contact wall. eyes, a little like <laughs> sniper goes down in my pupils and fucking come and oh, yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the helicopter's smirking, but is still uh, active. Did you say smirking? Um, smirking, like the oh. engine starts. <laughs> it's like the helicopter's smoke. like. <laughs> a, 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 a trail of smoke starts um, uh, coming out of the engine, but so it's still coming after you. It's not been completely disabled, but um, do you reckon another round of fire like that could help, could finish it off? I turned it back to the group and say, you know, if we blew up the building, this wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who didn't bring the plastic explosive? Oh, come Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it! Um, hey, don't hold that over me until I use flash. 
if I don't use flash, then then I'm in trouble. <laughs> so, so with giggles, uh, sorry, with this next round, any failures could, will result in the helicopter firing on you guys. Um, awesome. So I would recommend cooperating to avoid yeah. uh, failure. Can um, we you... Android team up? Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to uh, do that. I want to have that scene from Ghost where I uh, reach around and steady your arm, Moto. Is oh, that cool? God. <laughs> <laughs> My first bullet was a little oh, off. I can I just a child. Can I offer you something though? Can no, I reach around you? That sounds much more likely. <laughs> um, before we James, get to, before, we, before we reach the oh, reach my... around section of the uh, giggles. <laughs> We've been there for a while. <laughs> you can only see Do my we upper ever leave that section. <laughs> giggles, I'll let you have your your go first. What are you oh. going to do to? So you could use uh, hustle to try and help your compatriots line up a shot, uh, or you could just try and hu- get the hell out of dodge. What are you trying to do? Um, I was kind of thinking of like put having one hand on the wheel and then like hanging out with a pistol on the other and like just taking some shots. <laughs> Uh, that would be, so I would say that's a hindered grit roll. I would not recommend it. Um, Sage, what are you planning to do? I was wondering if that second helicopter is within range for me to just switch all of its alarms on because that should distract the people flying it and hopefully that'll make them make a mistake and easier to hit. You can, you can, you can do a tech roll on that, yeah. So you can okay. use your tech roll to support... Moto's yeah. grit roll. Giggles, yeah. could you perhaps position the helicopter in a better way so we could have a clear shot with this ghost-like precision? <laughs> yeah, mate, you know, it's best if I just focus on flying as best as I bloody can. So what we, so what we could do, so, so Giggles, you're going to line up the helicopter to take a good shot. Yeah. Sage is going to use her tech to try and distract the helicopter uh, while Hello Moto and Flavor both roll grit to try and shoot it and take it down. And we so, know how that's going down. Yep. There's a particular so way that's being shot. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> so, right. <laughs> so basically it's all one result. There's there's only one possible result. There's not going to be like a partial yep. success or a success. <laughs> Whatever highest roll works uh, will come. Will resolve this. So if you all roll ones, <laughs> it'll right, be this better. Is just our we get. Just moment, people. Uh, I mean, you... if we all roll Sorry. once, we still have another t- uh, more time to start another game. <laughs> do I have so, right. so, so Giggles rolling Hustle, you Sage rolling hustle? Tech, okay. Flavor and Hello Moto ah! rolling uh, Grit. And if you could keep, remember, it only counts if it's on the table. Are you kidding? That was a 10. <laughs> I got a 6. I'm in. Oh, I got a I 1. It was, was a 10. I got a 10. A 6. After nice. all that. <laughs> so Sage, unfortunately, you like reach out and but the, the fences on this helicopter are just too high. It's a military spec and you know, they would break through it. But in the meantime, at Giggles, you kind of you do this perfect uh like almost like a drift turn on the helicopter in midair as you like <laughs> spin the tail around. Oh yeah. Um this is you, dope. you I've like, got my like, goggles on the door and you're yeah. in flavor and flavor start like just open up on this helicopter and blow it out of the sky. <laughs> what a shot. I couldn't have done it without you looking back over my shoulder as my arms are still being headed, held steady by Heller. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Google's could I get just one last hustle roll out of you as you uh, try and get out of there before the, um, the, the, the hacked helicopter. That That's is a... the explosion we needed. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Yep, so you managed to kind of complete the turn, don't lose control of the helicopter, and head towards the next location. Good okay, work, hello. team. Nice. Well done, team. Yay. You, you can let go now. Again. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why does it feel like you're choking me? <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. My arm. <laughs> it was an accident. Blame James. He kept wriggling. <laughs> Oh, I forgot James was there, and I like run around like a dog trying to see him. <laughs> hey, hang on, have we got we got James Moto, and then yeah. Flavor. Is, this some, is this is this kind of a bit like Human Centipede? <laughs> I didn't want to say it, <laughs> but like, can you imagine? 
imagine if you had wrapped your arms around me with James <laughs> on my back? You'd be basically... Just face to face with James the whole time. <laughs> this is not for intimacy purposes. <laughs> Calm down. Please, again, Those stop crying. crying. <laughs> James, sorry. I am I'm so sorry. sorry you were facing backwards and missed that dope explosion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so yeah. So as you jet off, you guys, what do you, it, it's about a half hour helicopter ride straight out of town. Are you guys want to do anything or are you just kind of high fiving the whole way through? Um, yeah, if I could make some, if, can I use my savvy ability to call some friends in the area to make sure that nothing looks sus over there. Is that sure. something I could do? Yeah. Nice. Is that 2d6 or a d8? Um, but it, no, it's just a, a standard savvy Classic roll. D8 uh, then. Yep. But so are you asking for people to meet you at this, at the same no, no, I, I just want to get an idea of, uh, make sure there's no, uh, you know, like, Nothing that Guaranteed. seems like it's us. Yeah, so whether there's people sure. gathering, this previous company sent its people over knowing there might be something going down. Just want to check the area to make sure it's safe if I've got any contacts in the area. All right, go for it. Roll seven. I'd eight. like to check. Eight. Yeah. If there's any news coverage or anything about the uh, explosions in the sky and the break-in. Sure. Probably a good um, idea. I'll get you to do a tech roll. Um, cool. Now, Erin, if you wanted to do, uh, or oh, hello, Moto, if you want to do a grit roll to repair your armor, oh. you've got a bit of time. I'll allow that. Thank you. Do you want me to oh. hold James? <laughs> uh, James, god damn it. <laughs> James gonna... offers to help and is really bad at it, apparently. Yeah, I got a one, so fuck yeah. you, James. <laughs> You're sitting there, it is hard to fix while these traps are on here. <laughs> <laughs> Could I could I use a med kit to help repair the, or is it too tech? It'll need a, it'll need a, 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 a uh, yeah a, like a repair kit. Right. Um, so lucky you got an eight on your yeah I uh, did. I'm roll. rolling well now. It's bouncing out from my crumminess that I had earlier. Um, yeah. So you you kind of you reach out to another gang that's kind of that you know operates near that area. Um, they drive past. Basically, they just say that it's. It's like an old service station with a garage next door. Um, it's really not the script. It's like they, they've been past it a few times. Nothing uh, unusual about it that they would have thought. No lights um, on inside or anything like that? No. no. Cool. Big flat roof for a helicopter to land on, but that's about it. The area seems safe. There is no yeah. unsuspecting business, and I let the rest of my crew know that. Yeah. Um, Sage, could you? What did you do? Your tech roll? Three. Three. Um, so there's not much. There's the, it's the equivalent of these Oscars are on at the moment. So there's more coverage <laughs> on that. Um, <laughs> so you, it's not so much. Maybe it's not so much that people haven't noticed as that people are more interested in that. That's, um, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, uh, but at the same time, like there's no cut. You don't know how much of a police presence is looking for you guys. Awesome. Are we um are we heading to the target location now? Yep. Yeah. So the target location, as uh, flavors mates describe, ends up being a, this like service station. Mm -hmm. um, you're able, no need for a roll. You're able to land the helicopter close yeah, okay. by. Yep. <clears throat> um, and you guys start heading towards that building, I assume. Yep. Yeah. Let's uh let's do it. Do it. Now, James, is there anything you wish to know before we land? Sorry, uh, James. I'm just, just <laughs> looking for, just looking forward to getting out of this. Uh, I'm not sure what the next steps are, but um, hopefully, my new employers will have some information for me. Well, Mister Smith taps the side of his face, which doesn't have a nose. Seems like a <laughs> lovely gentleman. I appreciate biz doing business with him. Yes. Um, are you guys going to do a marching order to go inside the building? Are you guys checking for traps? It's not really no, dungeons. So we don't do that. We just go <laughs> in, all guns blazing. I've got a stun gun and a real gun now. I think we're for a right. game. <laughs> um, so you guys walk towards the building. It, it, it's got like a roller door garage kind of scenario. You live, It's you go check it. It's unlocked. You roll it up. What you see inside is it's very similar to like a metal detector is what you'd expect in a, um, 
in a like an airport scenario. It's a bit bigger and but and it's on a platform that looks like it spins. Uh, James is like, oh, I think that's for me. He kind of walks up to it. He uh, a little walk up. I walk up. <laughs> <laughs> he is compliant. He's still on the he's still on the back in the backpack, is he? Okay. Yeah, he's still <laughs> strapped. He was the there. backpack. I'm oh, sorry, like, he is the backpack. No, yeah, he yeah. is the backpack. He is the backpack. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I apologize, so you... James. I tried to undo them, but these baby safety clips are really impressive in the year 2040. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, it looks like it's some kind of scanning device that he he needs to go through. Oh well, yeah, I walk him through. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you put him down. What happens is the uh, the like the, the the frame, I guess, that's spinning around him. So you need to like take a step back. Um, a little AR interface comes up. Tech, you have a quick. Uh, Say, do you have a quick read of it? Basically, what you judge from the diagnostics you work out, it's starting, it's scanning him from for like tracking devices, implants, anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's it got a, like an inbuilt surgeon that will then like remove anything. Uh, there's a timer down. It looks like it'll take about half an hour to complete. Okay. I am surprised how comfortable he is with the anal probe. Amazing. <laughs> It just shows you can get used to anything. (laughs) (laughs) He must have been through it before. (laughs) Um, Yeah, all right. Uh, Sit and wait. So it's just sitting and waiting until it's scanned, I'm assuming. Can I try and fix my armor again? I would like to go onto the roof of this building, if possible. Keep an eye out. All right. Uh, Five. You managed to repair your armor? Nice. Um, you're, uh, look, Flavor, you're up on the roof. Where's everybody else? So what is anybody else doing? I'm keeping an eye on the scanner, just seeing if it finds anything. If you want, you can try and roll tech to, like, in, basically improve it. Uh, see if it, it'll speed up, but might be penal- might be problems if you fail. <laughs> Set a defrag. <laughs> Half an hour is not that bad. All right. And- Hello, Moto is trying to repair her arm anyway. Fair enough. And uh, I'll, watch. I'll watch James. I'll watch James. Keep a close eye on him. So, Aaron, you're kind of in the in the next room over with your armor, trying to repair that. Um, Giggles and Sage, you're in the te- in the uh, scanner room. Scanner room. Uh, just keeping an eye on James. Flavor, you fortunately went up on watch. And what you notice coming very quickly is a very large dust cloud of uh, wheeled vehicles heading towards you guys. So sorry, uh, my sound cut out for a second there. Was that yeah? Was that say vehicles were heading towards us? Is that what? Like a very large um, like cloud dust cloud indicating some uh, like land vehicles, trucks, something like that. Uh, are on their way. Let's meet them out um, there. Yeah, open up a voice call. Everyone, it appears that there are people approaching. Ready yourselves for combat. It is unlikely this will be safe, but it is possible it is just Mr. Smith. <laughs> yeah. So you got you got a few minutes to prepare. What Do you guys want to do anything? Or what do you guys want to do to prepare? How close is the scan to being finished? It's just started. Like it's, you're still in the first five minutes, but as, as you kind of watch to check the timer, it comes up with ping tracking device located, removing. Nice. Um, cool. All right. Well, I will, uh, ready my, you know, gun and, you know, kind of do a lying down sniper shot with whatever gun I picked up off of them. It's probably a hand cannon, but it's just, well, just a know. pistol. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I'm pretty useless with it, but, mm-hmm. um, yeah, oh. I think the above ground might be useful. Perhaps, uh, Giggles, if you'd be willing to get up here so I could have a quick descent, should I need it? That's what I was just about to do. I'll jump up to the roof. Nice. Yes. So you two are on the roof. What's the range on my security drone? Um, like how... It's basically visual. Like it, 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 You can send it out, but it's very vulnerable because you're basically looking at it through its video. Mm-hmm. So the, yeah, it's it's used more as a personal security device than a, a remote. 
military drone. I'm just wondering if I can get my drone to take the tracking device like at least a couple of hundred meters away from us and drop it mm-hmm. somewhere else. Oh, I like that. That's cool. It's I was just going to currently... suggest cutting off limbs where the trafficking device are to speed <laughs> up the process. <laughs> um, so, so the surgeon, part of its process is that it destroys the devices. Oh, okay. it, it's not for distraction. It's for like, it's laser surgery to burn out. Mm. Could it's... I use my spoof ability to create one that is the same as that tracking device between like Sage and myself Mm-hmm. Um, if she could use her tracking device and I give a help action to generate the same tracking ID or something similar. Is that doable? Yes. <laughs> it's got, you're going to need to be quick because basically the device is getting destroyed as you're having this, as we're having this conversation, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'm yeah, trying yeah, to work out how that would work. Yeah, um, I mean, so basically, I can, uh, yeah, if, you're able to pull up the logs and say what was destroyed. I mean, it threw the machine. Yeah. I could, you know, create a fake ID for it. Go for it. All, All right. right. Let's so, try that. So each of you roll tech. Um, yeah. I'm going to say uh, each of you, your your tech dice will drop down a size because you're okay. trying to do this quickly. Okay. So no, is, no, uh, is that normally 2d6 if I've got the... So program? for you, it'll be a d4 and a, and a d6. Yeah, sweet. Because your your help die your help die won't get reduced, but your tech die will. Normally, if you weren't a robot, this would be near impossible. Oops, I'll chat. All right, I got a four mm-hmm. on my D eight. Um, I got a six, and uh, that was on my D six, and a. Well, that's all you need. That's okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so you managed to so, uh, Sage, your kind of programming. You got like seventy percent of what you need down before the device cuts off as, as it's removed by the, as it's destroyed by the surgeon. But Flavor, you met, you fortunately for some reason started bottom up and managed to get the remaining thirty percent um, starting there. And you met, guys managed to get enough of the IDE that you're able to, to copy it across to your drone. Um, it's not going to last for long because it'll. Um, but you can send your drone out to buy yourself a bit more time. I will send the drone out to go and hide. All right. Nice. <laughs> like just sit on a rooftop pretending to be a piece of machinery. Uh, it's pretty open where you guys are, but roll me a tech roll to see kind of how well you're able to program it. Cause like, you know what you want to, want to do, but you're telling a computer, which doesn't. I can use my puppet program to actually run my drone like uh, you don't even need the puppet program you can just do that and puppets more for a uh, hostile uh, okay. situation, uh bot so. 10 10 nice so you're able to um well so, so you not only program it to run and hide but you manage to make it look like <laughs> to mimic a person running so instead of just being a smooth flight that would normally done, it kind of jags a little bit uh, left and right. Um, it looks weird, but you're like, yes, I am that smart. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it, you've, you've managed to buy yourself a bit more time and, um, and flavor and giggles as you watch, you see the, uh, the dust cloud kind of break right and start heading in the direction of that drone. Um, nice. What you see is basically the mother of, a, of all APCs. It's the size of a semi-trailer, um, but it's obviously some kind of corp security group. Um, does the helicopter have the ability to fly on its own? You, know, you can program it. Like it's it's not it's not it's not like complete autopilot like go fly over there and it'll sort itself out yeah I, i'm more curious about that puppet ability as to whether it, if it has if it's a self driving vehicle uh, could uh, you yeah you know send that helicopter to ram them <laughs> you can you can roll take for that or i could try to puppet the apc and once the people are out of it just like run them down oh my god puppet the apc that would be epic 
I don't know if I can, but it's worth a shot, right? I'm, can I'll, I give I'll, you I'll the... draw your attention to self-driving vehicle part of the that gear, but yes. Yeah, I mean, it. assuming that it's like it, the APC, do we, don't, do we know if it's commonly self-driving or is it most likely manned? Is there a common theme with these in this universe of which one it could be? Roll, roll grit for me. Classic D6. Um, I want to say a six, but it's the first last net. It's one of the larger max rolls I've had in a while. So I'm going to change program because I'm not like, I'm not trusting it anymore. A three. Three. So 50, 50. So some, it's basically it's a corp response unit. Sometimes they're fully automated drones, dr- um, uh, driven by a drone car just ready to go at a moment's notice. Um, but sometimes they're, they're, you know, elite security humans um, just who are just on security standby. And the fact that you guys set up an alarm at a building means they could have been called to action. You're not sure. Nice. Um, I, that being the case, I personally would lean towards ramming them with the helicopter. We know that that one isn't manned. But yes, it is up let's to do you. It. Let's do it. All right. Um, can I give an assist roll, tech roll, or something similar? Sure. Um, so both of you roll tech um, as you try and pilot this uh, helicopter. Remote pilot the helicopter into the NPC. Into the NPC. Oh, a APC. APC. Six. Me roll. Yes. So initially look uh flavor you start sending it off in the wrong direction because you <laughs> for some reason the um like the left and right have been swapped on the on your program oh you down is up. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh but then um sage manages to correct it and boot you out of the system so she can do this properly oh come on the explosion would have looked better that direction <laughs> <laughs> um so, Aesthetics aren't everything. Sage, so could I get yourself? A... Look at your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. Yeah, always oh, Sage, a your, always yeah, what is the, the end result of your hair? It's definitely done by <laughs> cooked by now. Um, the end result was somewhere between grey and yellow with stripes. Right. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not altogether happy with it. I will be trying a different brand next time. <laughs> Um, could I get a, a hindered tech roll? So a tech okay. roll, but drop that your die down one size. So four. So as you're flying the helicopter, you see like two anti um, cannons kind of pop up out of a hatch and lock onto the helicopter. You manage to ram the APC but it gets the helicopter gets shot down in the process. Like it's, it's flying in as it's getting shot to pieces. Amazing. Oh no. How's the APC looking? Pretty good. Okay, great. great. Our escape vehicle (laughs) is gone. Okay, great. It is okay. (laughs) I believe in us. (laughs) At this point. So uh, uh, the two of you up the top, you you see the APC after about 10 minutes, um, it's reached where the security drone was. Um, say you lose connection to your drone. Um, you suspect it's getting jammed. Um, you see the, this truck stop and then start heading back toward heading towards you guys. Uh, hello, Moto. Mm-hmm. What have you been doing this whole time? There's, a, there's been a lot of tech nonsense happening. Um, I assume I would have been fixing my armor. Oh, that that's done. That's all good. Um, if you'd like, I can give you a suggestion or yes. you, saying, yeah. you can, you can fortify some shit. You could get out there and make <gasps> some convenient knee high walls to hide behind. <laughs> Amazing. I will go into Lego mode and just like start <laughs> stacking the building awesome. and, uh, in my head saying, everything is awesome. <laughs> everything is cool when you're part so, of a team. Roll a grid roll. And, oh no, um, but everything's cool when you're by yourself. Cause <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're still so, part so, of a team we're just a team doing very different things in different places yeah <laughs> you see flavor walking over and he's like yeah i'm not gonna help with that 
I don't um, like that song. Do a, uh, a grit roll, but have it enhanced. So go up a die size than you normally would as you, as your concrete punching hands are able to easily like lift up these like barriers, scattered barriers that are out. What? Like, Did you roll a one? Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I feel I like, like that's happened too often to you, so I'm gonna I'm gonna enable D- DM, GM pity mode and give you. A- <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That I like the is- idea that uh, she was trying to stack. But them you have in. to use different dice to the ones you've been using. Yeah. I like the idea that you were trying to stack them, and then as you're singing, nice everything's nice awesome. Jam. I come nice in with jam. this mm-hmm, <laughs> over the speaker, <laughs> and this uh, re-roll as you hitting the mute button. <laughs> I was like, I felt like I was doing a lot better when James was on my back. <laughs> it was my emotionally support pet. <laughs> Quick, get him back. <laughs> the one the company yet, James? wants him. <laughs> All right, heavy metal dice. Let's go. A four? Actual success. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you managed to fortify one side of the building. Uh, like you managed, you, like get some um, planks, you managed to fortify like the windows and stuff like that. Um, but you just ran out of time to do the rest. That's cool. Um, great. Can so it while be they're like coming this- from the side yeah, which, they're coming from yeah so yeah. we'll say that's the north so while anything's coming from the north side you're um you, you've got extra defenses from inside the building basically but like with like slit holes so we can yeah. see and shoot out yeah 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 so basically they'll break if you fail a shooting roll before you start breaking again um 10 minutes on the clock this apc pulls up um while you guys kind of uh, taking your prep rolls, straight away, uh, flavor and giggles, you see like half a dozen very well armed, very well uh, armored um, security guards come out. They look humanoid. Uh, they look human, but they could be robots. You can try and hack them. Um, Sage, where are you at this point? I'm trying to get a connection back to my security drones so Mm -hmm. they can bring it back and have some kind of weapon yeah um as you do that you see uh you look out through windows you see one of them's like carrying your drone and they very deliberately drop it on the ground and smash it in front of rude so rude so rude (laughs) Uh, they they call out you can surrender you come out and surrender and give us back our company's property or we're coming in to take it. Uh, sorry, we weren't expecting a delivery today. Try next door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there. I thought I was the face, <laughs> but I have been shown up time and time again. <laughs> Would you like some salt for that wound? We've got flavor and such. <laughs> oh, boom, boom. Don't you get your salt with my pepper? Oh, no. Um, all right. So I'm, they, so they, yeah. they, they, they kind of all look at each other and say, "Get them." They split, free one, free to the left, free to the right. Uh, giggles. What's, what's your call? Pistol shot to the head. All right. Roll. Are you waiting? Are you going to time with somebody else? Or are you going to take your own individual shot? I think me and Flavor should time together. <sighs> yeah. See, I was thinking of maybe trying to steal the uh, van then try and use my spoof to generate the credentials of one of them. If it's like, you know, uh, you know, uh, assigned to their codes to run the van, but to run uh, the AP, the AP. Oh, actually, actually I could help you with that. Cause I could, I could jump and move quickly so I could get there quicker. Yeah. But I don't think it's going to help no, us. With James it's not going to work all. for that. So that's right. I will. Yeah. Then we'll use grit. Let's just, let's just take down these guys. We're on right. the roof. Let's Pistol. Just start shooting. Pistol. Um, because you guys have both taken a good position, you guys' grit rolls are enhanced, so they go oh, up a dice yeah. size. Yeah. I like it. Seven, uh, baby. A three. Cool. So, um, Giggles, Flavor, you both, like, pop out. You manage to shoot one of the guys. Um, they manage to... They turn and return fire faster than you anticipate. 
um, and, and Flavor, you just managed to get your head back on the cover before it had been taken off. Oh, um, God, my face. That's all I have going <laughs> for me. Um, uh, Sage, what's your go? What's your turn? Um, I don't actually have a weapon, so I might see if I can speed up the scanning process on James. I mean, you can, you've got your, your hacking programs. You can try and use those instead. None of them will really do any damage. Like well, I, I mean, can trigger alarms. We had the I idea can... that some of these guys who are coming for us mm-hmm. might be bots. Your puppet ability would work there. Would the, it not? The, the human shape, but you can try and puppet one of them. I mean, I can give it a shot. Go for it. Yeah, right. I might just have human skin. So seven. Ooh. Yep. So it's about 50-50. So one of the ones that peel the other way is a drone and emitting a signal you're able to hop onto, and you have control of him. So every round you roll tech, he will do your commands, including yeah. shooting your teammates. Yeah. Brilliant. I think he should shoot his closest teammate. <laughs> It'll be next round. You've like act, you've taken him over, but mm-hmm. next round will be him. Uh, yeah, doing that. So does that is, does her action now count as a puppet action to control him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, Moto. I assume you're gonna shoot. I'm gonna get them to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so and- take a shot. Uh, I can I use my uh, my flash? That's what I meant. Uh, so flash is your hack is going to use your tech roll. Oh, okay. Two d six. So, yes, but it's going to be two d six as a robot. Oh, come on, let's go! Woo, nine. Right. Um. Yep. So you managed to target one of their weapons, and it immediately starts uh, sparking and then explodes. Yeah, drop it yeah. like it's hot. <laughs> two down, right. four to go. It's a right. joke there about flashing a little girl, but you know, it's, it's, we're well, going to just high road that and skip right <laughs> yeah. Can it just be like, let's not go there. <laughs> flash, ah, oh, savior of the universe. We can do that. <laughs> so at this point, I have some bad news for you. Oh, no. uh, the we copyright do. on that song means we can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been a few encroachments. No, yeah, bad. just a bit. Half the half the APC kind of flips open, and out steps. um, If you guys are familiar with the classic RoboCop, oh Oh. Oh, no, no. two hundred nine steps out. uh, This enormous bipedal robot. Oh, that's not good. That's not Um, good. Okay, how do we get him to roll for PTSD? (laughs) <laughs> uh, it's got a chain gun on one arm and a rocket launcher on the other. Could I get everyone to roll grit as it kind uh, of sprays the entire building with a machine oh, gun dear spray? Jeebus. All right. Three. One. Oh. Four. Five. Four. Five. So, Aaron, uh, Hilomoto, you managed to kind of duck and flatten yourself to the ground uh, before um, the fire spray comes. Danielle, um, you failed with that one. Your, Mine was you, a three. Oh, sorry, you got a three? I got the yeah. one. You got the one. Lucky, one of your pieces of gear breaks. No, uh, I'll leave it up my to you. flavor what? enhancement core. Um, uh, I, I think what? I'll lose the stunner. They can shoot off my pepper right. hand. Yeah, your stunner <laughs> just gets torn, torn off. Uh, oh no, completely. I drop it like it's hot pepper. <laughs> um, it also means you're down to one hand as well, effectively, mm. as a result. Yep, I think that's um, fair. Yep. Um, Damien and Danielle, uh, sorry, Googles and Sage, um, you, make, you get a partial success. So basically this turn you're kind of stunned. Um as you're kind of overwhelmed by the sound of this, um, I'll get you to do another grit. Re- oh, basically, you lose your action for this turn. Um, as a result, though, Lucky, you're up. Or Flavor, you're up. Awesome. Um, I would like to try and spoof credentials of one of these other bots to make it mm-hmm. look like I'm one of those to that jury that just shot me in a bit, if that's doable. 
I'm going to say, actually, this is this will be a hard roll, so it'll be a D4 and a D6, because these guys have got, like, military-grade protection. Awesome. Your my D6 against. is a 2, and mm-hmm. my 4 is a 4. So I got a, rolled a 4. So you got a, a partial success. So it'll work for this round. Oh, Great. sorry, for, like, the next round. But after that, it's going. you're going to lose that credential. Awesome. Um, Hello, Moto. You're, you pick yourself up off the ground. What's the plan? Uh, stop, drop, rock and roll. I'm going to shoot for Robocop. Anyone want to team up with me? They're, 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 you're the I'm only stunned. one left. I'm so oh. kind of, they're both like shaken, o- overwhelmed <laughs> by the gunfire. James, you want to hop on my back? <laughs> Maybe zero isn't a good number. <laughs> All right. Um, um, but because you, you got in this de- defended position, you can you can increase your grit roll. You oh yeah, one. that's a D twelve, <laughs> baby. I'm coming for you, bitch cop. Oh, suck it, nine. <laughs> nice. You peel off some of its armor, but it's still very functional. Vic. <laughs> I also point out there's still four more um, of these um, dudes of the dudes, and they're kind of heading around. Let Four more? We did... oh. You got two. There were six of them. Let's get the mooks before we get the big bad thing. Oh, uh, shit. My bad. Sorry, guys. That's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Next round. It's all right. Um, next round. Giggles, you're up. Uh, pistol and the one closest to me. Cool. Are, are you going to team up with Flavor or are you just going to... No. I mean, doing something else. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go solo. Solo hustle. And that's a four. Cool. Partial success. So you you managed to pop up, get what get a headshot off, but they man- but again they managed to return fire. Uh, what do you lose? What piece of gear do you lose at this Ooh. point? Is he-, <laughs> <laughs> is he dead or is he? So, so you shot you shot one, but like his remaining partner shoots right, back yeah, and yeah. manages to to get something. Uh, I'll sh- lose my infrared goggles because they're useless in the daytime. <laughs> oh, give me something useful that you lose. Oh, uh, just, okay. you, t- you lose that. That's all right. Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> nice, right. DM. Um, nice. Nice. Uh, Flavor, what are you doing? I'd like to message Sage and uh, be like, I believe this guy, this robot out here thinks that I am one of its team. Could you give me some advice in hacking it to attack its own allies? Um, so what I want to essentially do is see if I can figure out a way to use my current, it thinks that I'm one of its team mm-hmm. to give it an order to attack other members of its team. All right. Um, um, so, so Sage, basically you'll lose your puppet and try and do uh, puppet on this giant robot. It's only possible this round because he's got the credentials and it's going to be a hindered role, a more difficult role because this is a very, very uh, enhanced Defense robot. Okay. So I, I, I don't want to get rid of your puppet because I mean, you got you actually have someone that can do damage. So, whereas this, you know, I could roll for it and nothing happens and that's it. Uh, but you know, I, it's I, my concern here is that you know, great, it's you know, big money, big reward, but you could also take down someone with your mm-hmm. current puppet that you haven't really used. Does my current puppet get to actually? Do something as well this round, or, or you can use your role, your tech role, to just have him shoot one of the <laughs> other guys that he's with. So your uh, your action will either be to switch puppet or to use your guy to do something and puppet. But him. if I switch puppet, then it's again I can't make it act until next yeah, roll. So I have exactly. to basically win at two tech rolls to get them to yeah. do anything. Yeah. yeah, so it's probably much it, like I I can do the role because I got my what, 2d6 or 1d4 and 1d6 to do what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'd say, look, I'll just do this myself and then you can use your guy to actually do something. Might be better off for us. Yeah. Uh, which Whichever you think is going to work best. I think the latter there. So if you're okay with that, GM, um, mm-hmm. can I roll my d4 and d6? Uh, so what are you trying to do? What program are you trying to use? Um, I am not using anything. It is purely... Just crappy, because um, I was thinking that I had puppet, but I don't. So it's, okay. it's going to be one D four, I guess, if anything. What well, you, 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 what program are you using though? That's what I'm asking. I don't have a program. Is there a way that I can just do it through teching or nothing like that? No, no I got nothing. All right, cool. No. 
So um, really your best bet would be to roll grit and you can communicate with Hello Moto to combine your roles to try and take down somebody or just roll individually yourself. And you just try getting the the puppet thing going on this Robocop. I really don't want you to waste your thing. I mean, if you want to, you can, but I just, I'm concerned yeah. that it's such but a I mean, waste. Your, your ID won't last an, another round. I know, so. but I could also use it to, uh, what's it called? Get closer to this thing or get into the van, which it's in. So if I was to take an action to try and run over there, is that doable instead to get into the APC? It, it counts. It counts you as, as, as a friendly for now, but yeah. It's not going to last for very long. I, uh, yeah, I know. It's, I, I lose at the end of this round, but you know, yeah. I'll be able to do things to get over there should I need it. That's just, I mean, I'm in a currently crappy situation. I can't. I can offer help, but um, that's what I mean. Like, just offer yeah. help then. Like, that's yeah. the, your best bet is really to offer help. Yep. Yeah. All right, Helly Murder, you can have an assist on whatever you want to do. So yeah, you both can roll grit. I assume Helly Murder is rolling grit, so you roll your d12, Helly Murder, and. Flavor, you roll your D6 because you're up on... Well, you're, actually, it's enhanced because you're up on the roof, so you D8. And... Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> get a two from me. I got a three. Ooh, classic. Oh, classic. So you managed to take down another one. There's down to two uh, guys left, the drone under um, Sage's control and another guy. Um Unfortunately, though, you both get shot in the process. Cute. Oh. So, Hello Moto, you lose your armor. Uh, Flavor, what do you lose? Um, I, I mean, I've got there's something really cool now. Um, I guess I could lose my eliminate noise. Yeah, my quiet components. I now make okay. sounds whenever I move. <laughs> okay. I'm going to throw in as well that without that, your arms start seizing. Cute. As well. All right. So my singular arm starts seizing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> singular arm. And yep. <laughs> uh, Sage, could I get you to try and get your drone to? All right. So that's a seven. Nice. So you're completely, unknow- completely unsuspected by his teammate. Your drone manages to take out the last guard um, that's not under your control. Cool. Uh, could I get a grit roll from everyone as the TD robot sprays you with another round of fire? The a grit roll, yeah. Mm-hmm. One. Yeah. One. Two. Shit. <laughs> six. One, one. Yeah, six, hello? Yeah. Six. Oh, well done. Sage? One. Oh. oh so... Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so not you got ducking, one. apparently. <laughs> yeah. um, at this point, oh, is this this is still the same round in which he wouldn't attack me? Oh, actually, no, you're right. He didn't attack you. You yeah. you picked up as as a friendly on his thing. He yeah. you you didn't need to roll. However, Giggles and Sage, you both get shot. Basically, you go from being fully healthy to um, injured. And in this system, basically what that means is anything you try and do, your dice drops a size. And that's what I have currently with my seizing Ooh. up as well, yeah? yeah anything great. physical that, you try, that would use your thing. That's okay, right. yeah. Um, yeah, basically you guys are uh, yeah, injured. Um, again, Hello Moto, you're a practice fighter. You managed to kind of get behind the pillar before uh, you, and, um, and managed to avoid getting hurt. Giggles, you're up. Uh, so it's only Robocop thing left, right? Uh, well, there's a drone that you your kind of AR picks up is under the control of Sage. It's got like a hollow tag floating above okay. it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I am going to... You can combine your grit rolls with somebody else because right mm. now you're only rolling a D4 in your grits. So yeah. at least it'll help reduce the likelihood of somebody else getting hurt. I mean, like you're rolling a D like everyone's rolling a D four apart from Heller. <laughs> so that's what I mean. You guys can all combine um, to make one single attack. Effectively. Yeah. So I guess we're just going yeah. to like, we'll gonna... cover fire for Moto is my option here. I think mm-hmm. we're going to vulture on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. So in that case, so Dame, I uh, can get the Giggles. drone to shoot at it. It's Robocop as well. Yep. 
So Giggles, yeah. Flavor, and Hellomoto, you, you all roll Grit, and Sage would roll Tech as you yeah. kind of combine your efforts. Um, Power Sage, Rages to... <laughs> with their powers combined. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can work as a team to try and take this down. Right. Yeah, let's do it. Is this where I use my overcharge? Like, would that help? If you use an overcharge, um, it'll... it'll I'll double the da- your damage if you succeed. Oh, yeah, because you yeah. can't really go past a D12, can you? Yeah, but I'll, I will, it will I'll be impressive. Give her a D20, come on. Yeah, yeah come on. D100, please. Um, oh, right. fuck yes, that's a 12. <laughs> oh, and an eight. 12, no way. Yes, it's down, surely. All right. Actually, here's, here's what happens. Here's a crocodile. <laughs> so you're in, you're in a service station. Two of you are up on the roof. Both of you, you're all managing to communicate through smartphones. You guys say, okay, we're going we, we to, we're going to bum rush this thing in, in on the count of three. One, two, hello, Moto doesn't wait for three. Instead, she straight up charges she, the punches through the wall. The, she sees this <laughs> drone controlled by Sage in front of her. She, Ellie, um, not alley oops. What's the term? Like when you take a, is, take a specky off the, yep. off, like a <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> on off the shoulders of this drone and lands on top of Edie, ch- pu- switches on her overcharge, is like boiling out as she pull, uh, pulls the trigger on the AR, on her assault rifle, and shoots down into the core of the robot. It's like it's a super it. trooper's move, you know, where he leaps up to shoot with a grenade into its head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, Sage, nice. from your position nice. next to the scanner, there's a ding as a completed <laughs> scan. Finally! James, <laughs> get off my back! <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> missed you! Do a lap, lap of appreciation. Yeah! James! A little, a, a, on the AR display, a, a warning comes up. Extraction team uh, on, its, on its way. ETA, two minutes. And sure enough, two and a half minutes later, a smaller... Uh, APC turns up. It's got uh, it's very nondescript, bland. Um, comes out a very similar looking group of of soldiers. It come out. Um, they look at you guys warily. Just <laughs> don't say anything. Just run in, grab James, hustle him into the APC. James, live long and prosper. It has been a pleasure. <laughs> you cry, James a lot. Picard. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Man. another copyright. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, but I think each of you get a little message that you've had three Bitcoin credits added to your individual accounts. Chick ching. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I walk over to the uh, APC of the previous one that's still sitting there. How much do you think we could get for this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the, so the, some of the soldiers take take that with them. Oh come on! Oh, oh, come on. Oh, be like, oh. <laughs> they're just oh. like, yeah, we've lost but enough. Man. We've Back her up! Back her up! Guys, man. direct me. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. I guess we have a long walk home, but the money <laughs> shall always be with us. Hi, <laughs> yeah. pigeons. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grab it. <laughs> Today's lesson, <laughs> today's lesson is we need to install auto drive on our vehicle so that I can get it to come pick us up. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Um, yeah. I go over it's, and pick up my it's, it's removed like, it's, it's arm. Like, it's like um, cyberpunk. You press a button on your phone and ding, your panel band turns up. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. I'll uh, yeah go pick up my broken arm. The other one's still seizing, so it keeps dropping it every so often. <laughs> This is really annoying. <laughs> we tied the broken one to you. <laughs> Perhaps you could strap out. it to Hello Moto's back. It seems to do well there. Bit handsy back there. Ha, yeah. twice. <laughs> well, I did promise a reach around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I call the shocker. <laughs> oh, this is devolved. This Crack is pepper. Devolved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> All right. And that's the oh. end of the session.
Well done. Oh, thank you so thank much, you, Dan. Dan. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> on that on that note, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you, Dan, for this was put together a very last minute. So thank you so much, Dan. That's right. I'm proud thank to be you. the first returning GM to the... Yeah. Oh, the first GM yeah, and that. then the first returning GM. So yeah. I feel like I earned that. <laughs> you did, you did. All right. Uh, it's getting late, so we'll say goodbye to the stream now. <laughs> it's been and a pleasure. Thanks for joining, guys. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> and, and everyone lift up your hands. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.